At 1130, the hurricane season ends November 30th, and this year it's been an active one. In fact, we're now down to the last name on the list of storms. Chris joins us once again with more on the tropical storm, Tammy. And it's how quickly that changes because of the most recent update, it's now Hurricane Tammy. So Tammy officially has now become our seventh hurricane of the 2023 season. And here's what Tammy is going to do. Tammy is going to move its way to the northern part of the Lesser Antilles, even reaching winds around 90 miles per hour, very close to a category to strength. The good news is it's going to bend back out into the middle of the Atlantic. The more interesting part about Tammy is really where it puts us in the record books. For one, we don't really make it to the letter T all that often, where of all the T named storms that we've had since 1953, that's when we started naming tropical storms and hurricanes. The only time that we have had a Tammy was back in 2005, which by the way was the second most active season that we've had on record. There's only been seven times that we've reached this far into the alphabet. Now, certain letters are excluded, such as Q and X, where there's not a lot of names than that. So it's really only we have the letter W that could be uh, coming up after this and the letter V. So this officially makes 2023 the fourth most active season in history dating back to the late 1800s. This is just shy of what we had in 2021 where we had 21 storms, but it's going to be tough to break the record 2020 the year we will all remember there was a record 30 storms which beat out the historic 2005 where of course we had Hurricane Katrina.